slip chain. <sighs> I hate these small limbs like that. It happens with chainsaws. I gotta fix this up. The fun ain't over yet. Okay, I got my poles. Time to get to work. What I want to do is get this bark off, then I'm gonna make a point and drive it in the ground. One of the benefits of living in the woods, you gotta be creative. If you're not creative, you're gonna struggle. Try to use a little bit of caveman knowledge to make things a little more comfortable. I'm able to survive out here, but I want to thrive out here, too. Okay, bench is done. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. You guys want to check it out and have some hot chalk? Yeah. That's cooler than I expected. It's awesome, huh? Yeah. We got our rocks, we got our cottonwood, we got our bench, nice backrest. You see how this thing is? Look. So it just smolders. Before Western society came, before there was matches and lighters and stuff, this is how, back in the day, people carried their spark. Because believe me, no matter how good you are at making a fire, you wouldn't be able to make one at 50 below. And without this spark, without this birch punk right here, easily we could not be here today. We'd be wiped out, extinct in this area of the earth. Whatever created us and created the earth made it possible with tools like this growing right on the trees. So that's good to think about, you know. I know it was my favorite part of the day. What? This. This is your favorite part. Good one. Now that these gnats are gone, we got the perfect spot. <laughs>